Right? You see that shape? This is the shape of uncut diamond the dark shadow. Uncut. So all the diamonds that comes out from the beagle can fill up in this structure. The 14 and a half million carats can fill up that structure. Sure. Yeah. So it already came out. Yeah, in this old. Yeah. And the size of the claim, they was talking about the claim, the size of the claim was that part in the middle. The 4x4, one claim was like that. Yes, yes. 4x4. Now the water that is this blue, it's the blue ground that's reflecting. It's the underground water. Right, you see that hole, this is the biggest man-made hole in the world was dug by hand on the 16th of July 1871. So as a copy, like a hill. They call that copy the Colesburg copy. So there was about claims here, about thousand they used picks. The depth by hand in top of the rock is 215 meters by hand. Yeah. Top of the rock. Yeah. So from here until mm -hmm. to the surface of the water is 174 meters. That water from there going down stands only 41 meters. So Yo. this is the Yo. natural the natural water of the underground that came naturally underground water. So that water changes its color to be green and blue, natural. So the open cast is from that side to that side is 240 meters. After that they stopped because of that water. In 1892, you see that building there without the roof? Yes. This is the shaft. It's when the beers take over in 1892. So there they used the machines to drill, they make the shaft. They went a thousand meters under the water. You see that cement building without the windows at the back? Mm -hmm. This is the area open Amos house is out is to sort all the diamonds. The green roof here. Yeah. This is the head office of the beers until today. Yo. The road was the main road to go to Johannesburg to Cape Town. They closed that Belfontaine Road because of the hole is falling. So there was only three mines left. Wesselton, Belfontaine and Twispan, they are out of the town. The beers closed those three in 2005. And after that, they sold them to another company. The Petra company is still mining there. So now the BS is only recycling the ground of the Beagle again, so they get some industrial diamonds. The mm. diamonds that comes out is 14 and a half million carats. Shucks. Stopped mining in 1914 because of the First World War. So the people went with that shaft a thousand meters. You are going only with that new one. 800 meters underground. So there will be a simulation of explosives. So you can take pictures after that you go underground. Mm. Uh. In the movie when they talk about the solid blue ground, they talk about that rock. Mm. That rock we call them the solid blue ground, we call them kimberlite. It's how do you find diamonds in this rock, so you must crush it, then you find the diamonds inside. Okay. This is the shaft. You see those two doors? This is the old loft, that loft is taking about 24 people. So 12, 12 and that one is close, is the skip that takes the rocks out in underground. So the people went that other side, the thousand meters we are going only 800 meters. And there will be a simulation of the explosive. See that machine? This is the head gear. That was the steam engine. So that machine needs to load women and children underground for safety those days of the work. Yeah, they drill some holes as you see it in square after the holes, they put it 
I don't want to inside to dissolve in the random again. When they do blasting, nobody stays in there's a place where people can wait after that when they secure there. Yeah. This is the names and numbers. Other uh, people you should be uh, you can have five or six claims knowing your name is being written. Brand of ownership. Let us show you the after that, people die. The BS table one eighteen ninety two. They make that shaft, and they went a thousand meter under the water. So, but that water stays only for the one meter. After that, they make some tunnels. There's no water that goes through. Stays only for the one meter. So all of those tunnels fall in after nineteen fourteen. So no one can go down. The movie shows you the first time I was found in the Orange River, it wrote down. I did that little young boy to see him there. And it shows you the copy, and it shows you the rock, the new rush rock. And it shows you the vehicle started 1871, stopped in 1914 by Hanky And it shows you Kimberly, those buildings inside. And it, those two guys, they make the BS company. But even not to insist it on goods. This way is still owned by DBS. Mm. Now you see, this is the underground. Right. This is all the rocks that you can find diamonds inside. The first one is Kimberly, you can touch it. Second one is a volcanic rock. You find diamonds inside. This is the river rock and this is granite. That one you can do a tombstone with that rock. Granite. Those guys didn't marry him as look for this. The color, the clarity, cut cares before you buy it in the time. You see the colors, they are nine. Most of the time you find white diamonds in the middle. The expensive color in these colors is the second one, the red diamond. That one we call it the ruby diamond, and that red diamond you cannot find it in South Africa, you find it in India. The expensive diamond in South Africa is the first one pink. If you want to take a picture of that, you can take a picture. The second part is clarity. It depends how the diamonds look like inside. When a diamond have these things, inclusion in the floor, the price is not so good, it must be like this. Flawless in the model. And this is now the different types of cut, about eight of them. The first cut was used is the, the round brilliant is the common. Cut. This is the most important in the diamond. It's the carrot by the weight after cut and polish. In the olden days, you used those seeds. You know, seeds. Or upside. When one of those seeds is 200 milligrams, it's one carrot. If you sell one of that, it gives you 35,000 rand. Yeah. One carrot. Hmm. This is how the machine was used for cutting and polishing the diamonds. In the olden days, now in these days, a diamond can cut diamond and diamond can cut glass. Now you are going to see 3,500 diamonds inside here. Uncut diamonds, cut and polish, and the others you found them in there, around the chimba light rod. No picture dead subject. <laughs> <laughs>
this was the tour of uh, Big Hole here in Kimberley, which is very interesting. Apparently, this place is still owned by DBS, uh, one of the biggest South African mining companies. But yeah, it's been a very fruitful and uh, an experience. Unfortunately, there are places that basically you can't access with the phone where there are some real diamonds. So you couldn't go in with your camera, but it's been a very nice experience. So it's a place I would recommend if you have time, just come here and have a look at the diamonds. Diamonds are very interesting. Diamonds, women love diamonds. So you will have a very experience of where diamonds come from, how it came here basically to be the place of diamond in Kimberley and the big hole itself, how it came about. Uh, we went to a nice place here which basically designated that there are some real diamonds, you see different diamonds, real diamonds. Yeah, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more content.